Hey, what's happening everybody? We are here at Lexus of Edmonton over on the West End to take a look at the brand new 2014 Lexus IS250 all-wheel drive. Uh, this is an F-Sport package. It's white with the uh, red and black interior. Very, very sporty looking. Uh, and these are brand new vehicles. These are the first ones in Alberta that we have here. We just got three of them today. There are more on the way and they are just gorgeous vehicles. We're all super impressed with the uh, redesign that they've done here. So right off the bat you can see the new Lexus spindle grille they've got right on the front here. This one's a little bit different because it is the sport package so you get a little bit more going on with this main kind of grille up front here. Uh, a little bit sportier as opposed to luxury. And then we do have the uh, the kind of check mark LED array there. The LED lights will go right there and then those little intakes at the bottom. So all in all very very nicely styled. Uh, it's a 2.5 liter V6 engine underneath the hood with just over 200 horsepower. Uh, it's a 6 speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters and uh, it is all wheel drive. I think I pointed that out already. So with the F-Sport package you do get the uh, little bit of a darker shade on the rims there. A little bit of a different design too badging on the side and then you also have the integrated turn signal on the mirror right there. So now this is the first time that I've seen uh, these vehicles myself so we're gonna just jump inside the driver's seat and start going through everything and just go take a look together here. So here's our door panel uh, somewhat similar to the new GS that was redesigned last year and then uh, we do have window locks and uh, mirrors right here. And then you have your power driver seat with back support. And then the nice uh, red leather bucket seats that you can see right there. Just kind of give you some shots of the interior here. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic adjustable. Just not powered. There's just a little latch for it right here. And now it is a push button start, so we'll start it up. You can get in and out of the vehicle and lock it uh, with basically keeping the key in your pocket the whole time. Uh, you can just touch the door handle and it'll unlock for you. So that's a nice little feature, not exactly new, but uh, it does do that. This is the new instrument cluster here for the sport one. It's a little bit different for the, uh, the non-sport models, uh, but this one's got the RPM gauge around the outside and then the digital speedometer right in the middle. So really, really awesome to have that. Uh, really easy to kind of check what's going on at a, at a quick glance down there. And then the steering wheel has a nice perforated leather here. You have the red stitching around the inside, F-Sport badging down here, uh, some controls for the screen up here, cruise control down there, and then you do have audio and Bluetooth controls right over here for you, and then those paddle shifters as well. Your main navigation screen's right up top. It's also the backup camera if we shift into reverse. And then we, you do control the screen with the Lexus remote touch system. We've seen this before. You move this around for your cursor. You click to make selections. You've got your home button and your menu button right there. Now they added the analog clock to the new IS. I really like that. I really think it's a great uh, kind of finishing touch there or centerpiece to the vehicle, if you will. Uh, you have this nice aluminum trim that they've got going on there too. And then uh, this is really neat with the temperature controls. It's actually a touch to change that so really really cool haven't seen that before uh, and then we do have your automatic function for the climate as well as heated side mirrors and then it is dual control uh, for the temperature for driver and passenger CD players right down here and they also have an SD a micro SD input down there heated seats for the driver and passenger and even a heated steering wheel right there you have drive and manual mode, so when you're in manual mode you can tap shift or you can use the paddles up here. If you want to go in sport mode you just can keep it in drive or manual and then you just twist that and now we're in sport mode. You get a little bit more throttle response as opposed to normal or economy mode. And then we do have your traction control button and your snow button right there and this is going to make it really easy to kind of uh, get started in slippery conditions uh, in the winter time. And inside your armrest here, you've got a USB and auxiliary input, and it's actually really cool because you do have two inputs there. Haven't seen that before either. And then two cup holders right here. And then we also have the locking glove box right there, passenger door and window controls, powered passenger seat, rubber floor mat. Uh, up top you get an auto dimming rear view mirror, and right along the bottom here is where your garage door opener buttons are. And then uh, you do get the sunroof as well and this beautiful black headliner that you only see uh, in the sport packages for Lexus. So I think that's a good kind of walk around of this, um, of this, um, of the interior here. So we're just gonna pop open the trunk and we're gonna go check out the rear seats as well and then that's pretty much it for the video. 
So if we take a look inside the uh, rear seats, there's a good amount of room for the size of car we're looking at. You have rear floor mats. Uh, there's also the center seat armrest that comes down. There's cup holders that pop out right there, uh, as you would expect. Very comfortable, easy to sit in. Uh, and then we also have the window control over on the door panel here. And then as for the trunk space, we were surprised when we took a look in here for the first time because there is quite a bit of room, again, considering the size of the vehicle. And then you also have the pass or the fold down seats 60 40 split. And of course, your spare tire and tool kit and everything's right underneath there. As for the rear end's rear design or the redesign, uh, it is very similar to the GS. It's kind of a little bit smaller, uh, really much more aggressive tail lights for the top and the bottom there. And nice body lines, too. And that's uh, really pretty much it. So, like I said, first couple that are even in Alberta. Uh, it's launch day today, right now for them. We're just getting our hands on them. They're awesome vehicles, definitely worth coming to check out. So if you have any more questions, give us a call, 466-8300, or drop by the dealership. We're at 170th Street and 111th Ave. And don't forget to go check out LexusofEdmonton.ca, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.